Hello friends! I hope you're doing good and I hope you like the way I look. I actually put in some effort in dressing up with like the lipstick and the hair because I've been working from home for a while and like no one really looks at me and if you saw my Insta story a few days ago or the time when I was shooting this, you would know what I mean. Mm -mm. But anyways, I also hope that you like this setup that I have over here. It is what we're going to talk about today. Ever since I started working from home earlier this month, I decided that I really needed an office space that I like. Something that I can be comfortable and productive with like for an entire day. And because I just started my business recently, I really needed to play with the budget that I have. AKA, I don't have much money. AKA, broke entrepreneur life. AKA, just broke AF. But that's okay. I feel like I've done a good job that I really like this space right now and I'm really excited to share about it with you. And hopefully it will inspire you to set up the budget office that you want to. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is how my office looked like at first glance. And you would notice that it's actually just right by my bed in my bedroom. And I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this spot. It is always the background where my YouTube video used to be. And I'm hoping that right now, this could be a new background for us. There are three things that I look for in my office space is to have a clean space, um, one that is comfortable, that I can sit for an entire day, and one that only has the essentials that I need. So here we have uh, my laptop, which is basically everything that I need for my work. Here is a file with all the printed um, online courses stuff that I have, and a few notebooks, and my pencil case with a lot of colored pens because I enjoy playing with colors in my notes. And here is um, a pencil holder that I actually really like. It's actually gold at the bottom. I don't know if you can see. And I have some pretty pens and you know. These were like the few nice Pinterest worthy ones that I got last time but I just don't use them. It's more for decorations. And here on the right, it's really the essentials. Um, speakers for my laptop. Um, this is a new Huion tablet, um, drawing tablet. The pen is, oh, the pen is actually here. Yeah, new Huion tablet that I bought um, for graphic doodling. I'm still learning how to use it, not really good at it. And there I have my water and supplements that my mom got me. And I have to put it here to remind myself to eat it or I would never touch it. And here is um, my lip balm because my lips is like dry as these days. And um, this is just a really cute Gudetama candy box that I used to put coins and name cards and a, pen, a phone holder for when I do my work. And right here, I have this big lamp and I have a reed diffuser which really gives out a very nice scent. Um, right now I'm using white tea scent. It's really nice. And this is a plant that my friend got me when, uh, for my birthday, obviously, just look at the sign right there. Um, it is a dragon fruit seedlings and I only need to water it once every two weeks. So this is um, my office at uh, a glance. And on top of it, it's actually like three frames. Oh, hi, you can see me in the reflection. Hi. Um, I actually designed the prints myself with Adobe Illustrator. They are based on the color scheme of my new website, which you can check it out at the link below and sign up to be notified when it's officially launched. And I really love it. I got the frame from Ikea. I love it. And right here on the right side, I actually just hang this for decoration. Um, this is a really cute avocado spaceship bag that my sister got it for me. It's really so cute. And on here I have my onesie, my unicorn onesie that I wear sometimes when I work because I work from home and it's so nice. And right here in my drawer I have the essentials, um, my hard drive for all the videos that I make, um, stationery stuff, pencil, uh, sharpener, 
um, you know, just craft thingy, my name card, my washi tape. Um, this is like the the wire for my tablet. Yeah, so these are just the essentials that I need. I can, you know, just take them when I need them. And under this, it, they are the books that I love. Um, I love reading and looking at these books. Some of them, they are not really my favorite books maybe, and some of them I haven't read them, but I really love seeing books at my place. And I'm really looking forward to read this few on top. And there you go, my budget girl boss office space. Honestly, it's nothing too fancy and it's really far from my ideal Pinterest worthy office space. But I believe that with my manifestation, with my hard work, with all the effort that I'm putting into my own business, in no time I will have my own office slash YouTube studio and it can be as pretty as I want it to be. For now, this is what I have. This is what I can make do and I'm happy with it. It's the thing is like I know working from home allows me to go to pretty cafes or even like you know nice co-working space to work but I still need to pay for the coffee or I still need to pay for the fees to use the co-working space and I really wanted something that I can be comfortable to make do when I'm home and the total that I actually spent on this setup was only 400 ringgit and that was 250 ringgit to buy this second hand table um, from Carousel, which is like Malaysian equivalent of Craigslist. And 100 ringgit on these pictures, these frames. Um, the photo frames were like total of 80 bucks from IKEA. I actually designed it and I printed it myself, so that was only 20 bucks for printing. So it was a total of 100 bucks. And this was 250. So that's a total of 350 ringgit. It's not even 400 bucks. So you see, I make do with all that I can and I'm really happy with this. Um, so I really think that there's no excuses when it comes to creating a space that works for you. It's just whether how you can put together and be creative and you know play with all that you have and put them together. I really hope that this video inspired you to create the office space that works for you. And comment below on what you like on my office space. I would really like to hear that. That's pretty much it for today. Subscribe to this channel if this kind of content is what you enjoy. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!